Hey yo, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make glass bubbles in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump right in. We're going to start off as usual by grabbing our rectangle tool and making a rectangle as big as our artboard. And this is going to be our background. We're going to remove the stroke because we don't need that. And then we're going to choose the color we want for our background. I'm going to go for a bluish color. You then press command two to lock your background in place so that you can't move it anywhere. And next, click and hold here and grab your ellipse tool. Let's make a circle. Right, we got our circle. Now, click on the mesh tool or press U on your keyboard. And we're gonna add a bunch of points in our circle. Once you've done this, grab the direct selection tool. You can find it over here or press A on your keyboard. We're gonna select some points and we're gonna change their color to whatever color you want. And we'll make sure to change the color of all our sphere. I'm gonna make it all in the orangey yet yellow um, hues. So let's fill out our sphere with a bunch of colors. So there's probably gonna be some darker areas and some lighter ones. And we're gonna fill it all up. Right, once we're done, click on your circle, open up the transparency panel, and over here, click click on luminosity. This will make the bubble have the same colors of your background and it'll take the darker parts of your circles and make them into the shadows and the lighter parts make them into the light parts. So at the end you have this really cool effect that looks kind of like bubbles. You can always go back and change it if you don't like it. For example, just grab your um, direct selection tool again. Maybe you want this part to be light. So you just change the color to a lighter hue of the same one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, also comment what you'd like to see next. Follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, where I post shorter versions of these same tutorials. Be sure to check my website out where I have some prints available and these really cool hats and some other clothing items. I'll see you tomorrow.